back with another one. You already know four o'clock isn't cutting it anymore. That alarm has to go off at 3.15, 3 o'clock. By the time I start recording, it's around 3.30. So, of course, people want to know, am I drinking coffee? Absolutely. Coffee is every day, a few times a day, pre-workout, all of that, whatever it takes, right? But anyway, about to go through the daily affirmations, going to go through the reading, going to go clearing the mind before I get out there and go do jujitsu. If you guys didn't know, I do jujitsu in the morning and in the evening, depending on my schedule. So let's knock that out. Use this. I've been reading your messages, guys. Use this early wake up time as the time to grow, as a time to get stronger. This is your superpower. Well, some of those problems that you're dealing with, life is full of problems. Life is going to throw it at you. Life is going to throw lessons at you to see, are you ready for the things that you guys have been asking for, wanting for. If you want the big dreams and you want the big things in life, you want the to reap the benefits, you got to put in the work. If you can't handle something small when life throws a problem at you, if you can't handle it, if you can't handle that, how do you expect to get to the next level? How do you expect to get to that next step? If you cannot even pass the first step of getting through whatever issue, whatever problem that you're going through. And I call them problems, I call them issues, but there's a lesson in it. Anytime I've grown as a person, any growth that I've had in my life, I'm telling you. And it's hard when you're going through it. It sucks when you're going through it. When I lost my mother, how was that worst thing ever? But it made me such a stronger person. There were so many lessons that I could go on and on that I got from that experience and still getting gaining lessons from it. Learning more about myself that I would not know if a situation like that had not occurred. Same thing with you guys. That issue that you're going through, and I know it's killing you. It sucks. I got a couple of messages. I'm reading it. It's probably one of the best things that could happen to you, though, because it's going to show who you are. It's going to make you step up to the plate. It's going to make you figure it out. And when you get through that, you're never going to want to go through that thing again. So you're going to make sure you're more well equipped to, to not have to fall back, to not go backwards into that. So use this time. If you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling down, we can't afford that. You can't afford to feel down because life is going to keep going. Life is going to keep pushing. You can't afford to say, I'm going to throw my hands up. That rage, that energy, that anger that you're feeling, put that into getting up, into harnessing it, into making yourself stronger. Not just with the workout. The workout is a, t is a tool, but I would highly suggest everybody, every man needs to go do some sort of workout. I'll always say you need to do jujitsu because you need to know what it feels like to have adversity, to have a problem right in front of your face, to have somebody that is coming for you, to choke you out. It's a competition. It's no runner up. It's either you lost or you won. And if you lost, you have the opportunity now to figure out why did I lose? How can I figure this out? What am I doing wrong? And come back and be better. It's not about waiting for the opportunity. You create it. You make it. You figure it out. You construct yourself to be ready when that opportunity comes. So the opportunity all it, that it is, is just action and preparation. So when you're looking for that opportunity, you want it so bad, start getting prepared every day. Every day. That's why I wake up every day, every day, preparing, preparing, preparing. I don't know, but that's where you have to be a little bit delusional because you don't know when it's going to happen. It could be tomorrow, next month, next week, next year, but you're preparing, 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 preparing. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And each day you're waking up saying, yes, today could be it. You're just adding, adding, adding. All of this that we're doing, we're adding. All of this that we are doing. So I want you guys to start doing it too. Get up, get off that couch, get out of the covers. You're at that nine to five and I know it sucks. Okay, well, hey, 
if you have to start getting up early now to start working on your business, your side hustle, your business plan, let's go. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's build this thing up. All right, guys, that is a wrap. I told you I'm going to keep on showing up for you guys. Just wrapped up another morning session of jujitsu. So like I said before, in the mornings, it's either going to be jujitsu or weight training. So a lot of people don't know I've been doing jujitsu for about 11 years at this point. So once again, accountability, non-negotiable actions. The alarm clock goes off. I'm going to be at that gym. I'm going to be at the academy one way or the other. Doesn't matter how far along we are. We're always striving to get to another level, the next stage and holding yourself accountable, but also being around individuals that hold you accountable as well because they're showing up and they're expecting you to show up and you don't want to let yourself down and I don't want to let you guys down. You don't want to let people down who are in your corner. Short video today just happened in. We're going to do this tomorrow, the next day and the next day. Let's keep it going.